Welcome to America's Heroes Group. Welcome back to America's Heroes Group, our roundtable. We are globally connected with family, uh, family, ma- family Matters, Military Family Matters with partner family caregiver Keisha L. Jackson. Today is Saturday, October 1st, 2022. October is Breast Cancer, Mental Health, National Disability, and Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Our host is Cliff Kelly. I'm Sean Clay. I'm the co-host. Our executive producer is Glenda Smith, and our digital media producer is Ivan Ortega of Scouts Honor Productions. And we have our partner on the line. We have Miss Keisha L. Jackson. She's a U.S. Air Force veteran and family caregiver, and she brought us a panelist today. That is Troy Broussard, Senior Advisor, AARP, ARP, otherwise known as Veterans and Military Family Initiatives. And we're going to talk about AARP and Health Benefits Navigators. How are you guys doing today, Keisha and Troy? How are you guys doing? Hey, Sean. I'm doing well. How are you today? Very good. Very good. So Hello, introduce Sean. us to doing Troy. A, do, doing great today, Sean. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm pretty great that you got to have you on the show. Keisha, give us a brief great. introduction of Troy. Give, send us off with a great introduction for what <laughs> Troy does and what, he, and what he's doing for benefits and also at AARP. That's so funny. Ironically, before I doubt it, I was just thinking about Troy and uh, Troy is someone that I can't keep up with. So <laughs> I was thinking the best way for Troy to introduce himself is to introduce himself. But I will say about the topic, just last just last Saturday, roughly around the same time, I was talking to someone that was in the military. They didn't retire from the military, but they served about 11 years. And we were just rehashing, you know, some of our experience, our quote-unquote war stories. And so in the process of that, I asked him, I said, have you ever filed for any military, medical, any type of benefits? And the question or the response that I got is what I usually get, no. And so I asked, well, why not? And some of the answers that I always get is that, well, some people actually feel guilty, right? right. And then some people say it takes too much time, Mm -hmm. it's too convoluted. Um, and some of it is just honestly just sheer procrastination on a lot of times on our part. So to have Troy to be able to be the guest panelist today to be able to talk about these particular benefits and how AARP is partnering with and just uh, tagging up with the VA to make it easier for us to maybe not necessarily take away excuses or it could be very valid reasons. I'm looking forward to hearing what he brings to uh, America's Heroes Group today. Troy, it's good to have you. I wanted the first question I want to ask you is, who are healthcare navigators and what do they know that we don't know? No, uh, Sean, great question. Uh, Keisha, great introduction. Thank you so very much. You know, uh, but what I want to talk about here is that the tool that, that we do have, it's a, it's a free tool. You know, when you're a veteran, like we all are here on this call, you know, there's more than 40,000 organizations trying to help you, and it can be difficult to find that right information that fits your needs. And what we have found is that um, health benefits is something that is that needs to be utilized more by veterans, and you get some of the, the same common reasons that Keisha just mentioned. So that's why we put together the Veterans and Military Families Health Benefits Navigator. This provides you, it's a landing page that you do have, it's online, to where you, it gives you detailed health care information from the United States Department of Veterans, military TRICARE, Medicare, and private insurance. And the most important is it, it was developed to help veterans and their families um, obtain their service-related health care benefits and to prepare for when they get ready to go to the meetings uh, with, with the VA. We want to make sure that they are prepared so that they can really maximize uh, their process for getting benefits. Hmm. So I've heard of different types of types of navigators. I've heard of care, or otherwise known as care coordinators, patient sure. navigators, community health sure. workers, lay navigators, insurance navigators, clinical navigators. So, but this navigator that for the for ARP is that a that's a virtual navigator? Is that correct? Yeah, it's actually a landing page that we do have, and it's to prepare um, veterans and their families for whenever they go to meet with the VA, when they go to meet with that veteran service officer so that they can find out what assistance is necessary. And I will tell you that the biggest, one of the top questions that we get from our from our veterans and, and military families with AARP, which is nearly almost six million members, is what health care is available for me and my family? You know, that's some of the major questions they have. So this online tool that you can find at aarp.org slash vets health navigator really easy really simple it's 32 pages and it walks you step by step to prepare you 
for that um, for that meeting. And also just wanted to share, we just added some additional information to it, uh, which, you know, you talked about some of the, the theme months that we do have. But what we found is that women's veterans health care is important. Um, it, it's growing specialty emotional and mental health and as, as well as specialty dental, oral and hearing vision as well. So those are newly added to the tool that will help and prepare them for the meeting when they go to the VA. We just want to arm them. We want to arm our veterans and their families with the information so that they can make the right decisions for their families. I think that's really um, critical to mention as well that you brought up is that this is a virtual navigator versus yeah. having a person in front of you. Sometimes people don't feel comfortable talking to a person. <laughs> So having something Absolutely. that you can do on your own at your own pace, you know, take yes, as long sure. as you want and then, you know, go through mm -hmm. the different questions, go through the different pages. 32 pages might sound like a lot, but when you're talking about something online, mm -hmm. it's really not that much. Yes, and then being, but being prepared, from what I understand, is to being able to have the right documentation when you go to the VA, having the, the right questions to ask, understanding, you know, what the process is going to be like. So having a lot of those questions kind of answered for you would be very, very helpful. Because that's essentially what navigators are really all for. No matter any kind of navigator is really like your GPS to help you understand, you know, what you should know and what you don't know you should know. Oh, and, you know, I want to share, you know, and, and another reason why we were so, you know, we listened to our to our membership and, and what we found is, is that, you know, nearly 60% of all available veterans are eligible for VA health care services, yet less than half of them and those that are eligible use the VA health benefits. And that's according to a, a recent RAND study. So we wanted to really figure out what is a way that we can provide some assistance in no way, shape, or form. Are we trying to, you know, replace the VA or anything along those lines? Our focus is to prepare them when they go to the VA they will they will be ready they'll be prepared because listen the va is a great source we have great individuals that work at the va and those individuals are dedicated to serve our veterans and their families so we want to just prepare our members mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to be prepared for when that meeting comes they'll be ready to go and have all the right questions to ask because that's the key got to make sure you're asking the right questions so uh, so we're very excited about this this new this new um, online document and and the great thing about it that this online document where where it's housed will be updated um, by AARP um, with all the new changes that's coming up. For example, we have the PAC Act that just was released with some new benefits for for um, for military service members. So we're going to be adding that on to the navigator. So it'll be a seamless process. You'll always have the updated, and it's a free online tool. For AARP members and the general public as well. Now, when we're talking about benefits. Is it strictly healthcare benefits, or does it go into any other types of benefits, like maybe the VA loan or something like that? Uh, yes, it, it will go into um, healthcare benefits. It will go into you know how to make sure that, like for example, if there's any type of emotional or mental health, um, dental, oral, hearing, or vision, and then family caregivers givers assistance program. And there's also opportunity there where you can talk about. VA home loans as well to where you can get uh, further information as it relates to that. And what I mean is that it'll, we'll just outline it in the document to make sure to make sure that you can um, ask those questions. But the real focus of this is for health benefits because that is the number one thing that veterans and their families, they want to know how to, how can I get these benefits because it, it can be daunting. You know, um, you know, I really enjoyed Keisha's story that she mentioned about someone um, and sometimes as veterans, we feel, no, I don't really want to do that. But as a veteran, we should. Mm -hmm. We should go to the VA and have those meetings. And this document here will help you prepare for that meeting as well. Have you seen mm -hmm. any uh, yeah. veterans? I'm sorry, go ahead, Keisha. Oh, yeah, Sean, I wanted to mention, in addition, while I'll keep bringing this up, um, it's yeah. always good to have a resource that, that has been vetted. Mm -hmm. Because now, you yeah. know, we're just about to end open enrollment. Um, you know, yes, November the exactly. 1st, and a lot of times there's scams. There's people that are preying on people uh, trying to get their information, um, putting up fake websites, and so to have AARP, you know, um, uh, or organizations such as AARP working with uh, the VA or different things, it kind of takes some mm -hmm. of that 
pressure off to let you know that this is okay mm -hmm. because it could be very scary, especially if you don't have a background in the military and knowing like the terminology or if maybe your spouse or your parent hasn't shared a lot, you know, about their military experience. So things like this could be really helpful and safe for you. Mm. So you touched on this topic Absolutely. that you don't have to be the veteran. You can also be a family member or someone else doing this on, this, on, on their behalf. Absolutely. Um, like for a caregiver, for example, um, you know, we have a portion in the in the navigator itself where it, it, we really break it down to what are the three steps to get in VA health benefits. OK, so we talk about, you know, identify if a service me member is eligible, ensure that you have important documents, reach out to others if you need help. The next one would be how to determine which VA which VA benefits are available. You know, how do you qualify? Is it a service-connected injury, special circumstance, or low income? So what this does is it really prepares you for that meeting so that when you hear service-connected injury, it gives a detailed explanation as to what it is. So when, the, when those terms come up during the meeting, uh, you're prepared and you're ready and you're able to, to make the most out of that particular meeting. So my next question is based on the, what we just talked about is, are, do you, are you seeing veteran service organizations using this tool also to help veterans connect with their benefits? You know, we have, we have shared this, um, this information with our local partners um, our, and some of our national partners as well. From a caregiving perspective with the Elizabeth Doe Foundation, um, they have taken it and placed some of this information on their website that can be accessed. And, um, and what we do is, so we have shared it with local groups in, in our, throughout, our, throughout our 53 states with AARP, and I say 53 states because we include the 50 states, including D.C., um, the Virgin mm -hmm. Islands, and Puerto Rico. Nice so we make sure that, <laughs> yeah, you like that, right? <laughs> you know, we gotta, we gotta take care of D.C. I have a lot of my friends that are in the D.C. area, so if they hear this, 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 this um, program today, and I don't say anything about D.C., I'll be in trouble. <laughs> but no, but seriously, it's a, it's, yeah, and they will, trust me, they will. But I think the key thing is, you know, we want, we want folks to be prepared. It's a free online tool. Um, you can do it from the comfort of your home. You can make mistakes clicking on what you need to click and just go back. There's no pressure. And then when you're done, print everything out or, or take it with you. You'll be prepared for, um, for that meeting with the VA. What kind of feedback have you gotten from the veteran community? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Great question. Um, you know, and we outlined some of that in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the benefits navigator. You know, there was, I'll give you an example. There was one group, um, there was one individual that stated, you know, um, how do I ensure we get the health care that we need? You know, last year I left graduate school, moved back home to care for my dad. So a caregiving situation. You know, served multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, struggled with uh, respiratory issues. But, you know, unfortunately, um, none of them were able to quit their jobs, you know, and they don't know how they're going to afford this new, this new um, um, uh, additional expense. So with, um, with the navigator, they were able to take this navigator, um, go through it, because they were, nov you know, they were novices. They were just trying to learn, and then now, they're able to take and, and work with this caregiver, with their caregiving parent to help them get the benefits that they need so that it won't be a financial burden. I think that's the key thing. Getting these benefits um, that are deserved by the veterans so that it won't be a financial burden on the caregiver. And that's one thing I want to touch on and kind of dip, dive in a little bit deeper because, Keisha, you've been sure. a caregiver. Um, yeah. And then also caregivers are so critical to particularly our aging veteran population. Our veteran community is mostly are mostly seniors, and that's, and that trend is going to continue because as our our veteran population is, is aging rapidly, so caregivers are a critical component of making sure our veterans have uh, happy, healthy retirements, happy, healthy lifestyles for the rest of their lives. Um, what what are some things that caregivers need to know, or, sh or would be easy to, for them to go in there and actually make the most of this tool? And that's for either Keisha or Troy. Troy? Yeah, I'll, I'll jump on that. I think the biggest thing that I would I would ask that, that folks do with with the navigator and this tool is to review it. You know, I did mention 32 pages, but however, the 32 pages when you 
look at it in the booklet form, it's probably only 16, okay? Um, it, it's very easy to read. It, it's very, it, it's read, it, it's an easy read, and also it has all the definitions, you know, because in the military there is some military jargon that is used sometimes, so this particular navigator will allow you, will, will break that down so where civilians can understand it, and then that will help the caregiver, you know, help their either their spouse or their family members. So, you know, we just want to pr present something um, in a month, you know, to where we could let folks know that this navigator is here because we want, we want you to be able to ask the right questions and make sure that you maximize uh, whatever benefits that you need to get from the, from the VA. No, I was looking at the information. Claire, Roger, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just want to add on to that. Sure. And for the caregiver, oh, and for the please. and for the veteran, it's so helpful, you know, to have those conversations early about certain yes. things. Again, and I'll keep going back to that DD two fourteen and just the different things, or to talk about the branch of service and and uh, or maybe where they serve, or just those different things. Their social security number, and not those things are so helpful. So when you need them, you don't have to wonder where they are. So I'm always asking or always suggesting to caregivers, or even if you aren't considered a caregiver at that particular time, just have those conversations or know where those, that paperwork is at so that if you do need it, it's available for you, and it'll make processes like this even a little bit more seamless for you. Mm, I think it's critical for people that are not veterans. Um, they don't understand all the jargon, all the paperwork, all the form numbers and things. We have the DD-214, the, you know, this 24B strike strokes, whatever and stuff, all this different terminology mm -hmm. in, these, in these forms to, under, to have some kind of guide that actually helps you through the process. Yes. There was a study that showed that navigators help people live longer, save money, and live better, um, and also catch mm -hmm. mistakes. 39% um, to 70% of people who had, were, say, for example, were breast cancer patients, they found that by using a navigator, they increased the likelihood of survival from 39% to 70% five years after having breast cancer. Just wow. by having somebody to navigate help you just translate, because navigators to me are translators. A navigator could be somebody that maybe speaks a language you don't speak, you know, that you need not to be able to understand. If you don't, if English is not your, your first language, you have veterans out there that, that are, that English is not their first language, believe it or not. I served with many of them, a few of them. Um, th those are things that we, the navigators, can help you with. It's getting up, kind of navigating this maze of information that we call the VA system, the VA healthcare system, particularly when it comes to benefits and understanding what you qualify for, what you don't qualify for, you know, what you need to have, what you don't need, and all these different things you have to have prepared in order for you to get the ball rolling, and also save you a lot of aggravation and confusion because when you start the process, many people have complained years past for millennia that. The VA system sometimes is very confusing and it also is daunting, so people get frustrated yeah. and just quit. They just stop. Yeah, that's what I, I was definitely going to mention. Sometimes people won't do the process because they just say it's, it takes such a long time, you know, to get everything done. So the earlier you can get started, it could be the, uh, you know, the best for you. But also, there could be funding out there. There could be finances out there. There could be money available that you don't even know that's for that loved one that you can for or even for the caregiver. Hmm. One thing I noticed. I want to share. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just want to share just one quick thing. You know, in the navigator itself, there is a family caregivers assistance program that provides. This is in, this is a VA program, but it really details it um, in the navigator. Again, it will tell you how old you must be to to do this, 18 years old or older, and and also the veteran must have must meet certain qualifications, and it lists those bullet by bullet and provides a number that you can call directly to the VA to assist with that. So that's what I mean about having the information that you need armed and ready to prepare yourself for the next steps. My last thing to talk about, we have about two minutes left. Um, the one thing okay. I saw that came up over and over and over again was this idea or this, this, uh, this truth of missed appointments. People scheduling appointments and missing their appointments or whatever, maybe they weren't prepared. Keisha, can you speak to that in the last minute we have? In terms of the caregivers or as far the as people, people, uh, veterans, people scheduling appointments and not showing up. 
<laughs> well, that's a little hard to speak to. I don't know specifically. I can. I just know um, some of the, the the ones in this particular area that are missing their appointments. Um, some of them are saying they're scheduling their appointments, but because of the distance that they have to drive or when they're getting there, they're not getting the services that they need, so they're just not going to their appointments. I've had people tell me that they're working and they need those hours and they can't afford to go. So it's just a lot of different things that I've heard specifically in this area for people uh, for VA and missing their appointments. Troy, any last words in the last 30 yes. seconds? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just echo that, you know, missed appointments is an issue that, you know, uh, I think can be handled if we provide individuals with the right information so that they can have a successful appointment. And that's why I refer everyone back to um, the Veterans and Military Families Health Benefits Navigator, and that, that can be reached at aarp.org slash vet health navigator. So I would say um, access it. It's free online, too, and prepare yourself for your meeting with the VA. We Thank appreciate you. your information, all the great information you've given us, Troy. Troy J. Prasar, Senior Advisor, AARP Veterans and Military Family Initiatives. Keisha L. Jackson, U.S. Air Force Veteran and Family Caregiver. We appreciate your time and all the information you provided us. Hey, thanks, Absolute pleasure to be with you. Thanks. This is America's Heroes Group. We'll be right back.